I hear all the time from people that consider themselves to be progressive such things as you are so old fashioned you um, you are supporting a patriarchy you are conservative and th these people like to think of themselves feminists as being advanced more modern and well, I was reading a lot of Joseph Campbell and I came across an interesting little fact which is that before patriarchal monotheistic religions the Middle East was a mostly um, they had many different religions but one of the dominant religions was religions involving snake worship which were matriarchal and lunar based very similar to what some of these pseudo cult religions Gaia religions today are about uh, the preoccupation with a snake is an important concept um, do you remember in the Bible uh, in Exodus Moses turns his staff into a snake he was speaking to a audience of people who were impressed by that type of image um, the god Medusa for example in um, in Hellenism is actually a co-opted god from the ancient world she was the head god um, and it was a civilization that was for the most part dominated by women and it was also very violent many people think that heading towards a civilization that has um, a certain gender in power is a good thing in fact civilizations that were dominated with women, by women were destructive um, many people say well you know Islam is a male dominated religion but Arabia was where this religion of the snake predominated the snake was a sign of fertility because it shed its skin so the people of the region thought that it was the god of birth and therefore was their head god and they were violent awful destructive dark religions perhaps um, Islam's preoccupation with gender and controlling women has something to do with being response to these snake religions now why do I bring up the context of um, these religions that were essentially Medusa religions um, the reason I bring it up is because today our civilization has again um, instituted gender control mechanisms that are highly assertive towards the female sex it's very hard to get a job these days if you're a man and at the same time we have growth in Islam so how could it be that these two po two polarities of violence create each other well if you make a civilization that isn't comfortable or sustainable for men what choice do they really have 